YouTube, what it do, man? It's your boy Josh. We back up in this thing with another one. Hey, we woke up this morning. It's another beautiful day. All praise to the most high, man. Let's get it. Hey, dog, I got a question from a supporter. It's a very good question. We're going to hop right into it, dog. He says, as someone who I assume has been through a lot, what advice would you give to someone who broke up with their ex and truthfully wants to eventually get back with them? But as it currently stands, it's not an option. What's the best way to go about moving forward? If that's what their heart truly desires, I struggle because I want to try again with her, but don't think that's a possibility because she sounds pretty done. Just trying to move forward and continue focusing on myself, but still think about her a lot. Because I can't lie, I've tried multiple times going back to rekindle, trying to show growth and change, but it doesn't seem to change anything and makes me look desperate. Very good question, bro. And so the answer to your question is move on you lost there is no rekindling there is no getting her back it's a loss bro it is what it is bro we've all been there i understand completely when i was 18 and my first girlfriend i was always trying to be with her and whenever we was about to break up i just said no just give me another chance and i can do this and i can do that and oh blah 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 like you ain't never had this guy or you remember we had these good times and good things and that all because i was in scarcity all because i thought that i was never gonna get another woman i thought that that was the end all be all i was so in love and that woman had became my sole source of happiness i didn't know what it was like to be happy without her. And that's a problem, fellas. That's definitely a problem whenever we start being in relationships at a very young age and we start putting our hearts out there and we put everything else in our life to the back, on the back burner, all for this woman, all for this relationship. And whenever that relationship goes to a fail or whenever that woman walks out on us, bro, it typically leaves us in a place where we are just in a dark spot where we can't eat we can't sleep you just you said you was thinking about her you'll think about them all the time and all you can think about is ways to instead of you thinking of ways to move on you're thinking of ways to rekindle or thinking of ways to or what you can say to make them like you all over again i'm here to tell you as a 26 year old that's here 10 years later after going through all that bs who has gone through heartbreak who has gone through me feeling like my life has been on hold or it just got taken away from me to a point where I've been in a relationship and to the point where it's, yeah, it's hurt, but I'm able to keep moving on a lot easier. I'm here to tell you guys a step-by-step -step process of what you need to do. And I'm here to tell you that it's over with. It's done, bro. There is no rekindling. There is no proven change in growth. Let it be. It's put it behind you. All right. So the first problem that I want to address is that you guys cannot let the woman, you cannot let the relationship be your sole source of happiness, bro. You have to be happy on your own. Intrinsically, bro, you have to have your own happiness within. And whenever you get with a woman, do not replace that happiness with her. Yeah, a woman is, it's, yes, of course it's supposed to make you happy, but it's not supposed to be the only thing that makes you happy. It's not supposed to be the only thing that gets you up and going. It's not the, it's supposed to be the only thing you have good going on in your life. It should be a good thing that should be adding something spectacular. It's a wonderful experience, bro. I'm not telling you to avoid it. I'm telling you, yeah, you got your heart crushed. I'm here to tell you, bro, there's going to be another one. You're going to try again. It's about pulling up the experiences. But I don't want you to make that woman your sole source of happiness. That's why, you can't, why you're finding it so hard for you to move on is because you have nothing else to look forward to. You have nothing else to do. All of you, your entire day, your entire schedule was basically centered around your relationship well now your relationship is no longer a thing well what is your life centered around now what do you what are you working towards what do you spend your most of your days doing if i had to guess you're probably not spending most of your days doing anything because you were probably doing everything centered around her or with her 
Fellas, we got to have hobbies. We got to have time. This is very typical when you see a guy get a girlfriend who's never had a girlfriend really before. And they have a bunch of friends or a bunch of boys and they do certain things when they were single. And then they cease to do all of those things as soon as they get in a relationship. And it's all because they that when they get a girlfriend, they just... They want to care for it so bad and they just, that's all they want to do. And, and it's, it's such a spectacular feeling and it's so different. And, and the, 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 the feeling of being loved by somebody is, it, it, can, it, it, can, it can compare to anything, really. It's, it's a unique feeling, bro. And so instead of you being wise and using your head and your logic and still constantly doing things that bring you happiness other than the relationship bro you get centered and and so pre predicated on this relationship bro and then whenever that relationship ends or that woman decides to leave your life bro you're left with nothing you're trying to hang out with your boys again but you feel like a butthole because you ain't hung out with them in months you ain't even checked up on them and now since your girl gone you want to come start hanging out with them you basically acting two-faced you basically showing them that yo bro i'm only hanging out with y'all because i'm not hanging out with my girl bro that's why it's so important for you to keep doing the things that you always been doing especially when you get into a relationship if you like going to play basketball on fridays after work bro continue to play basketball on Fridays after work, bro. If you'd like to go chill with the boys and go shoot some darts on the weekend, at least one day out the weekend, bro, continue to go doing that, bro. Don't stop doing that. If you'd like to go hunting or fishing and you just like to be left alone for a full 24 hours or a weekend out the whole month, bro, go do that. Don't let a relation, the perfect relationship is not going to take away it's going to add. So whenever you have a relationship and your woman is telling you to stop doing things that bring you genuine happiness, bro, that's a big red flag. It's a huge red flag because she should always want to come in and try to add to your life. How to make how how can I come in to make him feel even more ha happy? How can I make his trips even more fun? Or how can I make his hobbies even more enjoyable? How about how what can I do at the house that can make him want to be more at peace? All right, fellas. So, the, but the first thing is, is that we cannot let our woman, our relationship be our sole source of happiness. We have to be happy within ourselves. We have to be able to live life on our own. If your girl said, I got to go away for a weekend, bro, and you couldn't manage that and you didn't know what you was going to do with your life, bro, that's a big red flag, bro. And I'm not saying your woman shouldn't be an important part or anything like that. But it's like, bro, your woman cannot be everything to you. You got to be your own person. Your identity does not need to be just solely you with another person. You have to be your own person as well. Who are you without that person? All right. And secondly, guys, we got to look at these women and these relationships as experiences. The late, great Kevin Samuels had a huge, a great analogy in this. And it stuck and it sticks with me to this day. He said, you guys, when you guys get in relationships, you guys want to hit big so Y'all want to hit big so bad. And y'all want to hit big all the time. It's like, yo, it's, compare it to going to play, to go gamble in Vegas. Or going to go play blackjack in Vegas for the first time, bro. Like it's, it's not about going there to win big or winning thousands of dollars to take home and then be all happy and, and, and you become rich and everything like that. No, bro. The experience of going to Vegas and gambling, it has nothing to do with the winnings. It's all to do with the experience. You're in Vegas gambling. That's what we, that's what you do in Vegas. It's not it's not about necessarily bringing home the big pot. But it's all about just, hey, I put some money to the side. I'm going to risk something because that's what you do in Vegas. So let's go do it because it's not about winning. It's about the experience. It's about having fun. And you take that experience from the first time and you go there the second time. OK, I like playing playing blackjack over here and doing this and spending putting this much money down because I learned when I did that. When, when I when I put that much money down, see, I shouldn't play blackjack with the hands that hot because then I won't get no momentum. And then I feel like I, I can't get a grasp. If I pay twenty five dollar hands off rip, I'm only going if I lose two hands, I'm already out my budget and I can't play no more. Also, I probably should go play blackjack at a table where it's like three dollar hands. I think I like that. And then instead of going to play roulette. Instead of uh, bidding on the color, I, I liked how the trend was. I, I like 
bidding on the odds and the even numbers. I'm going to go try that. And now since you go the second time, you get a little bit better. And then you, you take some old, some old learnings. You, you learn some more things. You learn some things that work. You learn some things that don't work. And you go back and you third time. Hopefully one of these times in the future, you are eventually going to get big because you're gaining the experience. See, fellas, you guys, when you are in these relationships with these women, you're not at the best. You're not at your peak. You're not at the best version of yourself. You still got some things to learn. You might be emotionally immature. You may be a hothead. You may not be able to, you haven't probably learned how to listen to a woman or know what a woman feels like in certain situations, bro. You guys need to understand that it's a part of the experience. Take the experience. Stop wanting to meet a girl, feeling all in love, and then all of a sudden you want to get married and you're thinking about uh, uh, having kids with the chick and everything when she ain't did nothing to deserve all of that. All because you trying to win big off rip. Bro, put your heart out there. Put your feelings out there. Give it a shot. And then if it comes down, if it comes down to a screeching hole and it don't work, take the experience for what it was, bro. You played a good game. Learn what worked. Learn what didn't work. And then come back better for the next time because you know you're going to come back the next time, bro. You played the first time. You guys got to stop having this scarcity mindset like it's the end all be all like i only got one shot or i'm only gonna have one opportunity or this is the last girl i'm gonna ever talk to for the rest of my life bro take stop having that scarcity mindset you will play again dog all you need to do is you need to get ready you can't just you can't sit here and say, oh, I lost all my money. I, I put a thousand dollars down to gamble and I lost all my thousand dollars. And then what you look like going back the next day, putting a th another thousand dollars in to play the next game, bro, you need to go back. You need to re-cooperate. You need to get your life together. You need to build the money back up. You need to save a little bit more before you start heading back in, bro, and playing again. Because why? Because it's the wise decision. You don't need to be, you don't spend all your life savings out there all on this game where it may not come in return, bro. Go in, play, put your feelings out there, learn something, learn what works, learn what don't work, come back. And then maybe one of these days you'll hit big. One of these days a woman might say, hey, I really want to be in part of your life. She has the desire. She's going to be giving you that reciprocated energy that she wants to be the mother of your children. She wants to be in your life. She's providing everything that you ever wanted in a partner, dog. Take the experiences for what it is. If a woman wants to walk out on your life, let it be. Thank you for the experience. If you're not willing to be in my life or you don't want to stay in my life, I need you to have enough self-respect and enough dignity to let those people go. Instead of looking like a fool who is craving for somebody to be in life or be in their life when they vividly told them they don't want them to be. For somebody to for you to want somebody to be in your life when they tell you they don't want to be in your life. Bro, do you guys realize how desperate and how silly you look for you to be out there begging? I was just at my homeboy's uh, house. He had a dog, bro. At my dad's, at my dad's friend's house. He got a dog. You guys look like a dog. Let me turn this light back on. I, I had a food, a plate, and the dog just sat there looking at me, staring at me, hoping I'd give him a... A, a piece or helping I give him a slice that, sitting there just completely out of control completely out of I, called no shots just sitting there like a dog that's what you look like when you over there asking a woman to be a part of your life begging her you look like her little pet bro like you're gonna sit when she tell you to sit and you're gonna lay down when she tell you to lay down Fellas, we got too much self-respect for us to be put in a position like that or allow ourselves to be put in a position like that, dog. Turn these lights on real quick, dog. If somebody don't want to be a part of your life, bro, let them walk, dog. Let them walk. Stop being scared to be alone, bro. Stop being scared to be alone. You look like a pet. You look ridiculous out here, bro. Count the, count the experience for what it was, bro. It is what it is. You lost. She don't want to be with you. Bet. Make her pay with that wrong decision. You a good guy? You, you, you want to show that you've, you've grown and you've changed, bro? Show it with some results. Show, get, go get better. Go get some results. Because you want to show people don't listen to words. People don't care about excuses. People don't care about what you're going to do. All they care about is can you get results? Get the results. Get colder. Get in shape. If I had to guess, bro, you probably ain't in shape. You probably didn't work out. 
And you want to talk about some, how do I move on? Well, you just move on. Okay, well, how do you move on? Uh, what were you doing before you were in a relationship? Just continue to keep doing the things you were doing. Oh, you weren't doing anything? Oh, that makes a, a lot of sense. Why you can't move on. You made this relationship, you made this woman the sole purpose of your entire life. And when she decided she didn't want to be with you no more, you look stupid. You look ridiculous. You look... You don't know what to do with your days now other than think about her, other than think about ways of how you can get back with her. It's ridiculous, fellas, but I understand why you guys end up in that situation. I've ended up my, in that situation, and I'm telling you guys what I wish somebody would have told me when I was 17, 18 years old, going through my first couple of relationships, bro. All right? So... Don't let this, don't let the, your next relationship, bro, don't let that be the sole source of your happiness. I need you guys to be happy on your own. I need you to be happy and having a purpose on your own. You being able to fill your day up with productive activities on your own instead of it being centered around your relationship. And secondly, I need you guys to understand that you're going to win and you're going to lose. When you're on this improve, self-improvement journey, you guys are going to realize that it's going to be filled with a bunch of no's and it's going to be filled with a bunch of rejections and it's going to be filled with a bunch of heartbreaks. But they're all experiences to make you a better version of yourself because if you have experiences, you have more knowledge. And if you have more knowledge, you have more possibilities to become successful. Keep on racking up the experiences. Keep on racking up the no's. Keep on racking up the highs and the lows, bro. It's all a part of the game. It's never going to go away, bro. So, with that being said, make sure y'all like and share. I'm going to holler at y'all.